Good afternoon, my dear friends in Jesus Christ. As we are nearing to celebrate the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, today being a Friday, many of us fast and pray. In this Eucharistic celebration, let us pray for each of us for our special intentions and surrender our lives as we celebrate this Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends in Jesus Christ, today the Lord is inviting us to proclaim the good news even in it needs to sacrifice our lives. As the prophet Jeremiah and Jesus Christ was brought to punishment for being good of proclaiming the word of God, in spite of these difficulties and sufferings when we face, we only have to have a hope and trust in our God. When we have a hope and trust in our God, God surely will strengthen us with his power and with his blessings. But most of the time, we are failed to recognize God in our day-to-day -day lives. We have failed to acknowledge that he is our true God who has come into this world to, in order to bring us salvation and healing. For those moments, let us ask God's pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to my to brothers, my brothers and, sisters and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, and in my words, in what, what I have done, in what, what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most gracious fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Pardon the offenses of your peoples, we pray, O Lord. And in your goodness set us free from the bonds of the sins. We have committed in our weakness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading, the Lord is with me as a dead warrior. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. I hear many whisperings. Terror is one every side. Denounce him. Let us denounce him. Say all my close friends. Watching for my fall. Perhaps he will be deceived. Then we can overcome him <clears throat> and take our revenge on him. But the Lord is with me as a dread warrior. Therefore, 
my persecutors will stumble they will not overcome me they will be greatly shamed for they will not succeed their eternal dishonor will never be forgotten o lord of hosts who tests the righteous who sees the heart and the mind let me see your vengeance upon them for to you have i committed my cause sing to the lord praise the lord for he has delivered the life of the needy from the hand of evil doers the word of the lord thanks be to god responsorial psalm your response in my anguish in i my called to the lord and he heard me in my in anguish i have called to the lord and he heard me i love you lord my strength o lord my rock my fo- fortress my savior my god my rock where i take refuge my shield my saving strength my stronghold i cry out praise the lord and see i am saved from my foes your response in my anguish i called to the lord and he heard me in my anguish i called to the lord and he heard me speak your words of life to 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 me I am listening I am listening I am listening to you alone I am listening I am listening I am listening to you alone words of life to me speak your words of life to me the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john glory to you o lord gospel of saint john chapter 10 verses 31 to 42 at that time the jews picked up stones again and stoned jesus jesus answered them i have shown you many good works from the father for which of them are you going to stone me the jews answered him It is not for a good work that we are going to stone you but for blasphemy because you being a man make yourself god Jesus answered them Is it not written in your law I said your gods if he call them gods to whom the word of god came and scripture cannot be broken do you say of him whom the father consecrated and sent into the world you are blaspheming because i said i am the son of god if i am not doing the works of my father then do not believe me but if i do them even though you do not believe me believe the works that you may know and understand that the father is in me and i am in the father 
Again they sought to arrest him, but he escaped from their hands. He went away again across the Jordan to the place where John had been baptizing at first, and there he remained. And many came to him, and they said, John did no, did no sign, but everything that John said about this man was true, and many believed in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends in Jesus Christ, as we are nearing to celebrate the Holy Week, and being a Friday, many of us are fasting and praying. Today the Lord is inviting us to wait and see as we are making our spiritual journey. How far I have traveled and how far I am being truthful to myself in order to experience the risen Lord's blessings and graces upon me and upon our lives. So as we heard the readings, the prophet Jeremiah was terribly seeking God's favor, especially his protection and security for the time where his own people, the friends of him have turned against him. For doing good and for proclaiming the word of God, the people have turned against the prophet Jeremiah. They were even intended to kill him because of the good news that he is preaching. So the prophet is the one who speaks on behalf of the God and he is a mouthpiece of God. So as Jeremiah was proclaiming the word of God to the people of that time and they were not able to accept that word of God and they were not able to accept the truth in their life and they are intending to kill by having jealousy and malice in their hearts. So it is not only those enemies whom we find outside or elsewhere, it is the friends of Jeremiah who are with him, they have turned against him and they wanted to betray him. So for being good uh, by be, for being truthful or uh, for doing what is pleasing to God, we always experience opposition and we always experience persecution and insults. That is what today's readings in a way gives us a strong affirmation. When I am experiencing this kind of difficulties, this kind of sufferings, uh, this kind of threats to my life, to whom do I have to run? It is only the God who is my strength and who is my stronghold, he will fight for me like a warrior. That is what Jeremiah up boldly announces, my God will be my warrior and he will fight for me. I do not afraid, I do not be afraid of anything that comes to my life in, when, in the way of preaching the good news. So that is what in the responsorial psalm also we heard, in my anguish, I called to the Lord and he heard me. So when we, are, when we are in great difficulties, when we are in great sufferings, when I call to God, when I look up to God, God will rescue me. That is the great assurance that God is giving to us today. As we heard in the gospel reading, Jesus was not accepted by the Jewish people. These Jewish people, the Pharisees are the leaders or the chief priests who know the Torah very well, who know the law of Moses very well, they know how the Messiah will be coming. When the Messiah comes, what happens? They will experience, the blind will be seeing, the slaves will be set free, and the lame will walk, and the, blind, uh, the deaf will speak, and the dead will rise. All these things, the good works that Jesus has done are the signs to understand who Jesus is and who is the Messiah who came into this world. But they are failed to understand because of their selfishness and because, because of their jealousy about Jesus Christ. So they are in a way even intending to punish him because he is saying that I am a son of God and he is blaspheming. That is the accusation, false accusation they are bringing against Jesus Christ. So my dear friends, this blasphemy is a crime which is committed against a divine or which is against a God. So someone who is 
are claiming or proclaiming himself as a god is what a blasphemy. So, to that blasphemy, to this crime, the punishment is stoned to death. That is what we find in Leviticus when Moses said, uh, a man who proclaimed himself as a god, then the punishment was stoned stone him and stoned to death. So, that is the punishment is given to the person who blasphemes himself. So, here that same punishment they were intended to give to Jesus Christ, because he is saying I have come from father and what I am doing is what my father has sent me to do. So, in a way the good works, the preaching that he does and the good works that he did here on earth, they have failed to understand that he is the son of God and he is the Messiah who came into this world in order to save the whole humanity. So, even at that time God is giving us the assurance, whoever is doing the good works or whoever is preaching the word of God, they are in they are in union with God. As I am in the Father, Father is in me. So, in same way those who are proclaiming the good news, those who are doing the good works of Jesus Christ, those who are walking in the footsteps of Jesus Christ, they are in union with Jesus Christ. As John the Baptist proclaimed, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, here is the Lamb of God who came to take away all our sins by doing all these great works. And he proclaims that he is the son of God who came into this world and he is showing us that assurance the God is with us when we are facing the difficulties and trials. As we are making our spiritual journey, our way should, our way may not be a, a blood of roses, our way may be the or thorny thrones are the way that is with the filled with the stones. Maybe out of rejection, out of jealousy, many will stone at us for doing or for standing for truth. So, when I stood for the truth, automatically there will be opposition. When I stood for God, automatically there will be evils coming into my life. But at that time, will I give up myself? I need to keep up my trust in God who will fight for me. If God is with me, who can be against me? With that great assurance, let us continue to celebrate this Eucharistic celebration and ask the Lord to bless us, so that we can be a great pioneers of preaching the good news and doing the good works like the prophet Jeremiah and Jesus Christ in order to have belief in God and in order to be the loving children of God. Let us close our eyes and bow our heads and pray for our personal needs. In special way, let us pray for our Pope Francis, our Archbishop and all the bishops, priest, catechist and all those who are chosen to proclaim the good news of God, that they may be empowered by the Holy Spirit and they may be given strength and courage to do the good news proclaimed all over the world and to stand for the truth. For this we pray, Lord hear our prayer, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us also pray for the peace in our country and also peace in the world, especially peace between Russia and Ukraine countries, that the people who are finding difficulties in the countries, they may experience the peace established. For this we pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Lord hear our prayer. Let us also pray for the management of the Vivani TV channel. May the Lord bless them with a good health and strength and they may continue to grow in the knowledge of God in order to preach the good news to the four corners of the earth. For this we pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Lord hear our prayer. In silence of our hearts let us put forth our personal intentions. We make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of the whole church, Holy Church. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altar, and there to be served by constant participation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity 
together with Francis, our Pope, Paul Anthony, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Saint Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be cohesed to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And bring us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And Amen. with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold the Savior of the world, who came into this world in order to bring us the salvation and healing, and is inviting all of us to be the proclaimers of the good news. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, Lord I, am not, I am not worthy that you, that you should, should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. channel of your peace when there is a trail let me bring your love when there is injury your pardon Lord and when there's how to faith in you oh master grant that I may never so much to be consoled as to console To be understood as to understand 
to be loved as to love with all my soul. Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord, and may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go and serve and love the Lord. Thanks be to God. God of mercy and compassion, look with pity upon me. Father, let me call thee Father, this thy child returns to thee. Jesus, Lord, I ask for mercy. Let me not implore in vain. All my sins I now detest them. Never will I sin again. By my sins I have deserved death and endless misery. Hell with all these pains and torments and for all eternity. Jesus, Lord, I ask for mercy. Let me not implore in vain. All my sins I now detest them. Never.